everybody on YouTube. I'm back again with another tutorial. It, this time my tutorial is going to be in, in how to get a website started, how to uh, do the basics of a website and everything, what, what the coding is all about and what HTML is all about. So I'm going to get right into uh, Notepad which will be on my virtual version of Windows. The reason why I'm showing you um, uh, on Windows and on my virtual version of Windows because I have a Mac and everything I'm going to show you is the fact that uh, it's a lot easier to do a website if you're trying to do it uh, through a Mac and it's a bit difficult if you're trying to do it on a, on a Windows computer so uh, you have to do a lot of different things and there's other ways you can do it you can like if you know how to use Dreamweaver a little bit then you can do it in Dreamweaver but I say that the way I'm going to show you now is going to be a lot easier if you know the coding a little bit which HTML and everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my virtual version of Windows Okay. I'm going to show you the coding a little bit. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to go and open up my website. I'm going to show you how you can check coding on it too. Okay. Give it a second to load. Okay. okay. Alright. And what I'm going to do is. Okay, wait. I'm going to see if I can do it now. View page source. Right click that. And you can view it. And you can see that uh, kind of like what, what the coding is a little bit. Right here, it kind of looks a little difficult. Because, um. Like not like well, it looks like confusing and everything. It looks like like all oh, this coding is hard to understand. But pretty much what it what, how well like what it starts out with is is this. You don't have to worry about all this for right now. Uh, pretty much what you have to worry about is the head. Which I'll just show you everything because right now this is being run through WordPress, so that's why uh, it looks. The way it does now with the coding. The coding we're going to show you is through HTML. This is like PHP and it's a lot difficult than HTML and uh, WordPress runs it through PHP so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up notepad okay right in here okay and to start off you're going to do this this HTML and then this and then you're going to do head or you don't capitalize, no capitalizing at all where you're doing this, there is no capitalizing the only, the only thing that you would capitalize is I'll show you you don't capitalize any of the coding pretty much that's what I'm trying to say okay and then you're going to do title okay after that okay and title would be this like like the page title like if you go to the page or whatever it'll show the page title like well, well like right here this is where the page title would be and that's what the title is for and you can call it I'll call this test and then make sure that you close it close that so you do this to close it okay okay and then you do this and and I'll go to file and and after that you when you go to file you go to save as okay and make sure that uh, you don't save it as a text document you just go to all files and you make sure that you call it I'll call this test as you uh, test one I already have a test html make sure you name it as .html okay and then you save it and let it come back up okay and what I'm going to do here is uh, okay now that I have it there now I'm going to double click on it and show you that's called test see that that's the title of the page is called test when you open it up it's blank right now because I don't have anything there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on and next would be the body of the page 
okay and then you add a closing for the body okay B okay make sure that you add a, the closing this would be the oh, not that okay now that's the closing and then the body would be in the center of here you can add uh, different things in the body you could add uh, like you can add a paragraph and this is the symbol for a paragraph you want to add a paragraph on your page that you're working with and then you would end it right here close it leave it like this well anytime you try to close anything make sure you do this and then P this and that and that's how you do that and then this is your paragraph type in whatever here I'd say yeah I'm just typing whatever and this is what it would look like go to file save okay refresh this and that's what it looks like so far okay and uh, also too you can change the background the body you could uh, change the color uh, and the colors are really hard to memorize because of uh, the numbers and everything. So I would do this. I would go to background. Round equals. Oops. Equals. Make sure I do this. And then I do this. And if you have like a background, I'm going to go on. Well, I have a few that I'll just get. I'll go to copy. And then I'll right click here and I'll paste it here. Okay. And I'm going to re rename this. Okay, rename. To make it easier, you rename it. Just rename it to something that's easy. I I I do this. I'll, I'll just call it L O T S. Okay. Alright. Right there. And then right here, you do this. L O T. Make sure you capitalize L O T S. Lots. Dot. J P. J P G. Okay. Boom. Right there. Okay. Okay. And then you go to file. Save. Make sure that I save that. I'll save it again. Okay. Then I go back to here and I click here. Refresh this. And look at that. See? The background is now this now. The background of the page. And that's pretty neat. And as I deleted the text right in here in this paragraph. Okay. You could add. Uh, also, to you can like uh, uh, add headers in here. And the uh, highest you can go is one through six. One being the biggest, six being the smallest. And I'll show you what 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 some of the headers look like. And you can leave this out of out of here. You could do like a header, uh, header text. And I'll do this. Okay, this is the head H one. Okay, this is the header text. And what you do here is you, uh. Put whatever I'll put. I'll put uh, Brandon's test page, and you can center it too. You could uh, also you could uh, tell it to center it. What you do here is underneath the header one, you do this. Okay, go this, press center, type in center, and then what you do next is make sure that you close your head. You close you always close it doing this h1 okay and then I go back to here and I do this okay and I do this and you also close the center or else any other text you do it all also all be center if you want just that to be center you close that okay and here. right there okay and then we go to file save see that show you what it looks like okay refresh this and see Brandon's test page is now there that looks pretty neat huh you can also change the font color 
you gotta go uh, to Google to search for font color codes. You uh, and I'll show you that. And I'll go to H1. And I'll type, go to here. I'd go to this. Okay, I'll go to font color equals. Okay, let's see. Okay, make sure I do this for the equals. Okay, and you go uh, here and you go and search uh, font colors because it's impossible to remember them. It's like very hard. Like, and I'll go and I'll open up another one of these a tab. I'll go to Google and type in uh, font color codes, fonts, colors. Okay, not for MySpace, but for uh, font color, HTML color codes. Okay, and this is pretty much the basic colors. I'm gonna take the let's see, I'll take the light blue one. Let's see how that looks on my page. Okay, copy the code. I'm gonna copy the number. Okay, go back to here. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to here and do this. Paste, make sure that you do this. You add uh, quotation marks on top of it right there, and then you close it. Okay, you go to file save, file save, go back to here. Okay, refresh this. Oh, I jacked up right. Oh, that's why it looks like that because I added this right there where it says font. Font color, I was supposed to do this. And I was supposed to do. Okay. File save. Okay, now it'll show it. Let's see what, it, what I did there. Okay, see that? I made a minor mistake with the with the uh, coding or whatever. It must have, uh, wh whatever I did, but I fixed it. And then I go back to here. And you can also, uh, let's see, other stuff you could do on there. You could add, uh, let's see, you could uh, bold your text. You could, uh, like this, if you want this to be bold, you can either uh, strong it, press, okay, you could, let's see if I want this, this to be bold, what I would do is, uh, I would either do B, or you could do this, or I would pick this, S-T-R-O-N, strong for bold. Usually what I do is I just uh, do the B for short so it's faster and then I go back to here. Okay, back to the center. Center one and then I go back to here and I close out the bold. So I only want that to be bold. So make sure I do this. Okay. Okay, and that's it for that. Okay. Keep it like this and file save. Then I go back to here, and I go back to here, double click on it, or not double click, but you do that. And you can kind of tell it's bold a little bit, it's kind of hard to tell. You can also change the font. You could go to font equals font type, like I would say font type equals. If you want to change the font of this, you can also do this. Center this. You can also have it be... Uh, F O N T font T Y P E Arial and font type okay equals where's it uh, equal equals air me Arial B O L D Arial bold and then you make sure you close that okay and go to file save again and then you go back to this and it's like this and right there or did I had to make sure it or I must have typed in the font name wrong Arial bold okay center I'd, I'd, I'd also do this okay oh area Arial okay okay there there Close out that. Then I close out the center and close out the bold. 
Okay, file, save. I don't think I typed in the name of the font correctly. Um, but it should it should change it. I would uh, do this. Go back to this. I go to. Oh, oh, also to oh, what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. I had it add the quotation marks in there first. Then it'll do it. Change it. Make sure that I did it correctly. Okay. Space that like that. Go to file, save. Now it should change it because I think I typed it in correctly. Arial. It, it's kind of hard to tell because uh the way the it's Arial. It's not really anything different. And I think yeah, it, you'd have to just type in a different font in there, whatever font you have on your computer. Try to get a really crazy different one to take you get a drastic change because there's a lot of the basic fonts are pretty much the same so it's kind of hard to tell that it actually changed but it did it changed it's just hard to notice because uh, Arial is like the base I think the default font in here is Arial like what it, whatever's the default in here so make sure that uh, you go to like Google and search for different fonts and you could like type in the fonts name when you install it to your fonts folder on your computer and then uh, this is the coding for to change the font and this is the coding to change the font color and then this is the coding to change the background you can change it to a color too also what you do is just uh, where I was at for here where I was at in Google for HTML color codes this is for the background and instead of uh, doing it uh, to the name of a background like I have here and it's located right there these two have to be located together Wherever you want the picture to be, it has to be where your uh, editing is at. So I'm editing it through the desktop, so it has to be there. Like if you have it in a folder or whatever, then you put it there. But we're not editing it through the folder, I'm editing it through the desktop. That's pretty much the basics of uh, getting started on a web page. I'll do another tutorial on this, how to add links and everything. And that's pretty much it. Comment, rate, subscribe. I hope you uh, learned a little something on do doing a website and everything, how to get started. And uh, I'll do another tutorial on this uh, uh, later on. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Comment, rate, subscribe.